morning, Afghans gathered in the street after the assassination of one of their leaders. Burhanuddin Rabani was slain Tuesday by a suicide bomber who detonated explosives in his turban as he visited the former president in his home. The cry condemning the killing was followed by chants of God is great. The 70-year-old Rabani, seen on a visit to India only weeks ago, had played a major role battling the Soviets during his up-and-down career, which included nearly two decades in exile. Last year, he was tapped to head President Hamid Karzai's peace council. His death will have an impact on the peace process. He wanted peace in Afghanistan and sacrificed his life on the path of bringing peace. Today is a very sad day for the Afghan people because they have lost one of their great leaders. This day will be remembered as one of the worst memories when we lost this great man. The mission that he had undertaken was uh, vital, Mr. President, for the Afghan people and for the security of our country and for peace in our country. Karzai cut short a visit to the U.S. in the wake of the assassination to return home. Rabani's killing dashed hopes for reconciling with the Taliban in Afghanistan and raised fears about deteriorating security in the country just as foreign troops are starting to pull out. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.